What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video, but first, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month, so make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, we got to talk about it, man. Um, DJ Academics has hit once again. He was speaking with Pop Hunter and Pop Hunter revealed that he may be in a paternity fraud situation. That's right. He actually ended up getting with a woman and she lied to him about his paternity. Now, he said that he didn't get the DNA test yet. But even though he didn't get the DNA test, he said word on the street is she was smashing another dude. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to break this video down and I'm going to show you where he went wrong. All the way honest with you, bro, like 2021 was probably like the, the worst year of my life type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I was really, really going through a whole lot. Like I'm going through shit with my parents i'm going through shit with family friends all that shit like everybody stabbed me in the back people st they stole my money from me clothes all types of shit you know what i'm saying like it was just so so much shit going on you know what i'm saying like so it looks like he was having a tough time during 2021 and if you don't know much about pop hunter he uh has that song corvette corvette with lil uzi he fell out with lil uzi because um, word came out that he had, you know, he was on some paperwork and he was, you know, he cooperated with the police when he was a very young age at around 13 and in the music industry, obviously black people are going to hold it against them. And even to top some shit like that, even off, like I thought that for, for, I had two kids, you know what I'm saying? Like I just found out that one of the kids that I was taking care of, he not even mom, he not even my son. What? And I was taking care of him for since he was a baby. There you have it. And this is what happens a lot of times. Women will be dealing with a guy. He obviously is beta bucks. He was probably trying to do everything the right way, just like his mama taught him how to, you know, treat a woman and be nice and, and, and go with the flow and happy wife, happy life. And he ends up raising a child that is not his. And, 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 Watch his response to this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? I Wait, just found that out happen? that he's not even my son, bro. So well, that's not your first one, though. Right? Bro, that's my first one. So the one that you dropped out of school for, you found out it's not your kid. He not even my son for real, for real, bro. How the fuck do you find that out? Bro, it's just like, man, there was just so much going on, bro. And I really ain't even really know how to cope with this shit. But like shit, like even now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm scared to go take a test for him, bro. Like I'm like for your second one. No, for my first one. Well, how do you know it's not your kid? It's just like you feel me, like because like bro, like when you hear shit in the streets and shit, you know what I'm saying like and like. So he's got a feeling. Obviously, he must know a guy who was smashing his girl, and then listen to what else evidence that he has. Like you seeing pictures and shit, like bro, it's not hard to tell. He saw pictures, probably of Shorty throwing it back on 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 the guy and resemblance pictures from the child and the alleged new baby father think about how embarrassing that is especially for a kid who's in the hood man you know how ruthless brothers can be especially in the hood they're going to be joning on them making fun of them all types of stuff and he's just having to eat that man so i really feel for him he's been going through a really tough time and it looks like the community is pretty much spinning him up or chewing him up and spinning him out I'm saying okay, but, but are you financially taking care of it the kids yeah so? bro like still bro yes bro to this day it's till this day bro like it is it, just like bro no matter what bro like that's like that's still my son i'm saying like even though i know for a fact that he not bro i can't just leave him like that i'm saying like i've been with him since he was a baby so his response is the good man response i can't leave him he's still my son even though it's not blood 
I've been with him since he was a child. This is the response that women want you to have. This is the response that women want beta men like Pop Hunter to have. And I'm telling you guys, you should not go for it, okay? You did not sign up to be Big Step Daddy. You signed up to be the father of that child. And if that woman bamboozled you, if she tricked you into signing those um, birth certificate documents and you are not the real father, you are screwed for 18 years. He's screwed for 18 years. It doesn't matter if he proves paternity at this point. He's on the birth certificate documents. Saying. And did you ever have a conversation with a baby mother to be like, yo, damn, why you ain't just keep it a being with me? Like, why you ain't be yeah, honest? Yeah, for real, for real. It's just like, why? And why would she? Why would a woman not tell the 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 real father of her child or the the fake father of her child who the real father is? <clears throat> because she was wanting to practice parental alienation. She saw that Pop Hunter was blowing up. She saw that he was getting good looks. She saw that he was getting these features, and she didn't want to damage that stream of income. So she shut her mouth, kept it quiet, and she wrote it out. See, this is what these toxic women will do to you if you allow them and the only way that you can allow them is if you don't cross your t's and dot your i's he should have tested paternity at that hospital i mean i'm already in too deep you know what i'm saying and it's like i i know how that shit feel you know what i'm saying like because it's just like damn like my real dad he really not trying to claim me he really not trying to do anything for me so i wouldn't even allow that to even happen to him because i cause like i know how i feel i went through the same stuff same exact shit. so his guilt is keeping him the father of a child that's not his he's saying because i was raised by a single mother and my father wasn't you know he didn't want to be involved in my life or maybe the mother was practicing parental alienation since my dad was a deadbeat i'm not going to be a deadbeat even if the child is not my son this is the burden that black men are put under more often than not. Um, these cases of paternity fraud are more often than you think, okay? So this, this whole situation should bring awareness to any guy who claims to be red vitamin or claims to have red vitamin knowledge. Saying, but even still to this day, bro, I know he not my biological son, but I'm still taking care of him. I'm saying... But it was just so, like it was. I would have hated to be mama. I ain't gonna lie. No, like, ain't gonna, you, you, you did with her. Huh? You did with her good. No, I really don't even be talking to her for for honestly though, and that's the crazy part. But it's just like, bro, like I'm gonna like I like 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 I'm in a whole never space right now. You know what I'm saying like my head is in a whole never space. and shit like I'm not letting a lot of shit phase me this time around. You know what I'm saying? Like I kind of I kind of like grew like a tough skin towards a lot of shit you know what i'm saying like even oh man he's he's taking it he he's take he's he's taking it and laying down man he it looks like the brother just has no more fight in him he's done he's tired he's exhausted and he just wants to put these situations behind him raise his kids and no questions asked there are a lot of black men who are in this situation okay especially back in the day when it was a lot harder to ensure paternity even like with the rat shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I grew a tough skin even with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, bro, I went through a whole year of of just people just saying that shit constantly. You know, like every single day, every single day. You, you know, know what's saying? so funny? If so that song blows up on TikTok. Right. It doesn't blow up in a hood. Right. It blows up on TikTok. It ain't blow up because niggas is playing in the streets and playing in in clubs. Exactly. Blows up on TikTok. Mm -hmm. If you take that route, right, and you say, you know what, listen, hey, you know, I mean, fun music and like hip hop is cool, but like, almost like a pop route. Right. Nobody gives a fuck. Actually, they probably really sympathize with you because you're a victim. You right. know what I mean? You're a kid that got taken advantage of by the police, by the system. Yeah. So that was a great point that academics was making at the end. Um, black people are going to hold that against you. Okay. In the community, everything that is wrong is right. All right. So him telling because... You know, he witnessed a murder that even though that is the right thing to do, it's the wrong thing to do in the black community. And that's why we ain't really going to never get nowhere because our mentality is warped and it's backwards. And it looks like Pop Hunter was affected 
by every negative element in the community and he still was able to overcome that okay he's had seen murders he had been traumatized um he mentioned earlier in the podcast that you know it really messed with his sleep pattern he doesn't sleep he thinks about that murder all the time um you know the police coerced him to give a statement uh you know all of these different elements the the black people turned on him because they found out that he had made a statement and you know friends crossing him in the back you know his women his woman cheating on him and um having an illegitimate kid and then you know still receiving support from him all of the elements this brother has gone through so man all i do is you know hope for the best for him hopefully he sees these videos and gains some red vitamin awareness because at the end of the day bro if you let these women get the best of you it can lead to a destructive path so anyways you already know what it is man it's your boy reclaiming throne make sure you like comment share subscribe send your relationship course to the email down below and you already know reclaim your throne Claim your throne.